I'm getting set up to measure the toe out at my Hammer K3 sliding saw and toe out is the amount that the slider moves away from the blade as you push it forward. And you can imagine that if the uh, slider moved towards the blade as you pushed it forward, the wood would get cut at the front, but then if the wood is stationary and you're pushing the slider and it's getting closer, well that wood would bind on the back of the blade and that could lead to kickback and all sorts of other problems, burning and so on. So you either want your toe out to be zero, meaning you're perfectly parallel, with the blade, or you want a slight bit of toe out, meaning you want the slider to move just a little bit away as the wood passes by the spinning blade. Measuring the toe out is easy. I've installed a 12 inch blade, which is the capacity for this saw, and I'm using half of my Fritz and Franz jig, and I've got a metal ruler here on the slider because I've got magnets on the bottom of this dial indicator and I want it to stay put and I've zeroed, or at least I had zeroed the indicator there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the slider so that the indicator's at the back of the saw blade, and I'm going to take a reading and compare the front reading to the back reading. So here we go. I'm going to push the carriage forward, the sliding table forward, and we're going to see what happens. We're hoping that reading's going up because that would indicate that this, the table is sliding away, and it's showing six thou there of uh, reading, but that's not exactly right because if there's any run out in this blade, we've accounted for that run out as well. So what I need to do is rotate the blade so that the same teeth or the same area is touching the, uh, the indicator. And if I do that, I'm now at about two and a half thou. So I've got about two and a half thou, three thou of toe out which is, I think that's just right over that 12 inch span of the blade.